Kingdom Hearts fan or not, one thing you cannot deny is the soundtrack to this series. It is some of the most best music that I have heard in the entire industry. Strangely enough, for some reason, Square has been shadow dropping many soundtracks in the past couple of years. Some examples are the Chrono series, the Star Ocean series, and of course Nier as well. There are still more soundtracks being released, but most of the time, Square has just been shadow dropping these. I'm guessing it has mostly to do with copyrights or having the ability to be able to add these games digitally. Now, for me, I'm a huge fan of the fact that Square is doing something like this because most of the time when it comes to their games, their soundtracks are very amazing and memorable and most people want to be able to reserve these and be able to listen to this music anywhere they go. So having it digitally is definitely helpful in itself. Yoko Shimomura is one composer that I can never get over when it comes to her music. Most people in the Final Fantasy series may know her for Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy XV, or maybe if you are an OG, you may have known her with Parasite Eve. Now, of course, with the Kingdom Hearts series, it is her entire thing that she has done herself. She is pretty much the Nobo Uematsu for the Kingdom Hearts series, and a lot of us know her for creating some amazing and memorable soundtracks. Well, thankfully for many of us, we have woke up this morning finding out that we are officially going to be able to have the rest of the series soundtracked on all our favorite streaming services. Shout out to Jag this morning for giving me the heads up of exactly what is going on with the soundtrack this morning. So of course, like I've said, it's going to be on all your favorite streaming services such as Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, and YouTube Music. So you can listen to it on any of those you prefer to listen to. And we have all the music from 1.5 and 2.5. Well, I would say all of the music. Looking over the full soundtrack, I see that we have mostly have the mainline games music and not very much of the side games. Now to be fair, most of the side games aside from Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance, a lot of them are just reused music because of the Disney World, but we do have some really good original soundtracks from each of those side games. So don't worry, we do have a few of those within the soundtrack, but don't expect all of them to be here is what I'm basically saying. There are a few of them that are missing, but I think I'm just mostly thankful for the fact that we have the official soundtrack for the rest of the series when it comes to a lot of this memorable music. Now, there are a few songs that I love from some of the side games, such as like Chain of Memories, Lord of Castle. Thankfully, that is inside of the game, but I think we are missing a couple of things, such as maybe some of the original world music within these side games would have loved to have some of those in here but nevertheless i think just like many of you i will be continuing to listen to this soundtrack just as much as i love to listen to the final fantasy music but what do you guys think are you going to be listening to the soundtrack just as like the rest of us who are big on the music let me know in the comments below of what your favorite song is in the entire franchise and with that being said stay optimistic keep it real and i shall see you all in the next one Peace out now.